crackberry.com. Hey everybody, Kevin here for crackberry.com and now we're going to take a look at Blackberry Bridge, the often talked about, not yet seen that often feature on the Blackberry Playbook. So you can see here I have a bold 9780. You see that little Bluetooth light is blinking blue, so we're just going to push that to the side. And I have my playbook with the bridge connected. You can see what happens here. You get a new set of menu options on the, the far end for your bridge apps. And if we go into something like settings, you got Blackberry Bridge. You can see I'm now connected. I got my two little green ar arrows and I can always disconnect from the bridge. Uh, now I want to point out here, I currently have Wi-Fi on, but we're going to turn that off. So there is no data coming straight to this device. Everything that's happening right now is via the bridge. So what the bridge is going to do is allow us to basically see everything that's on this device real time. It, this is like a big mirror for this. A little bit of lag to it, but it works. So I'm opening up messages right now and I am seeing in real time what's on this device. Now we take a look here. I've got emails. I can open them. Now these, when I click these emails to open them, you know, this, date, this device is not pulling data down. There's no data connection going out for Wi-Fi or anything. It's just mirroring what's on this device, but you can interact with it. So if I go ahead and delete this uh, test five message here, you know, I'm going to delete it on the playbook. It's, that's it. It's going to be gone on the phone right now. There's no uh, syncing going over here. It's just gone because that's, it's happening on this device. Um, at the same time, you know, you can do everything on here, compose messages, reply to messages, and there's no syncing there. It's happening on this device at that exact moment. Uh, looking at other apps, same thing. So let's go into the calendar here. You can get a look at that. And let's go ahead and jump, you know, maybe to uh, next week, Tuesday, 7 a.m. I'm going to buy a playbook. I already have it in there. Um, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to quickly go like this. And I'm going to delete that appointment. Now that currently is going to be showing on my phone in the appointments, 7 a.m. Best Buy. But watch this. We'll show that here. We're going to go here. We're going to hit delete and it's gone. Now I'm going to go ahead and add it back in. Tap to add appointment, location. Uh, let's say I'm going to do, yeah, best buy and I'll just say playbook this time and you can see too you have your options just as are on the phone for sharing and everything which calendar to use and I'm gonna go ahead here and hit save and it's gonna be right there okay so that's the bridge functionality this is just a mirror for this that interacts two ways and it's instant now where things get pretty exciting and we can show here too we have memo pad tasks you know, we'll look at contacts really quick. So these contacts are pulling up from the device on the fly. If I delete a contact or add a contact here, it's instantly there as it's happening. You can scroll through, you have your contacts. But what I wanna really talk about and look at quick is Bridge Browser. Now this is not currently working on this build of, uh, of Bridge. Uh, this is still sort of under construction. Uh, it'll be working at launch though. So you can see here if I pull up uh, a web page, it's going to give me an error. But this becomes really, really, really huge. So what the bridge browser means is you don't have to pay for internet tethering if you own a BlackBerry smartphone. So this device has two modes of connectivity on it. It has bridge and it has internet tethering. Now internet tethering is the dial-up networking protocol this requires a tethering plan on some carriers. So Adam on AT&T tried to tether with his 9780 today and he couldn't do it until he called AT&T and had a tethering package added to his plan. Then it connected. Once he's tethered, he's able to browse the web. He's able to you know, use apps like say the weather app that draw uh, data, but you have to pay for it. Now on some carriers like Rogers in Canada, I can use that internet tethering. They give me a gig a, uh, gig a month for free and I didn't have to activate any tethering plan. So that's going to depend on your carrier. Um, but with the Bridge Active, I'm going to be able to do the same thing I'm doing with email and contacts here. And that does it. that's no longer internet tethering in the same respect. Basically what I'm going to be able to do is browse the web, but it's actually browsing on this phone and it's just giving me this mirror image plus the fact I have better apps on here, a better browser, flash capable and everything that's going to allow me to, to get that full experience. So I don't need to pay for a tethering plan because the carriers have, in reality, I'm actually browsing on this device and the carriers have no way 
to know that I'm viewing the content on a playbook. I'm not tethering. So when you internet tether, this is making the call for data and it's just channeling through here back to the carrier and the carrier can see that. With the bridge, it's different. This is making the call back to the carrier for data and it's just displaying on here. So this becomes a really huge opportunity. And you'll see right now that, um, you know, if we go to something like the weather app, when I open it, it's not gonna have data because I'm bridged, my Wi-Fi's turned off, you can see no network connection. But I have a very strong feeling that RIM is going to continue on this BlackBerry bridge path and give some of these native apps the ability to tap into this same data protocol where this is getting the data and through regular BlackBerry smartphone channels, through the biz, bez, whatever it is you're on, and it's displaying it through here for you. So I personally, if a carrier tries to sell you a tethering package for the playbook, I wouldn't buy it because already you have web browser access, messages calendar. I mean, except for those apps that might use data, this is good to go and it's free. Uh, so this becomes really huge. Huge, 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 huge opportunity. Think about all those companies out there that have BlackBerry phones in them, and now you don't have to, but you don't need a tethering package to give everybody a tablet. You just give them this, and they have access to all this the web, messages, straight through their existing phone plan. Huge. Uh, bridge files. So, this is pretty cool too. This is giving you access to files not only on your playbook, but also on your device. So, you can see here it sees my 9780, you have your file system and I can go through and I've got all my folders and whatever I want to do with stuff I can do. So if I want to open photos or something off of here, I can go ahead and do that. I've noticed it's not totally working 100% on this build, so I'm not going to try that and mess things up, but uh, you get the picture. You can also see things like notifications start coming through now, so if we go into you know messages, I've got an email that came in and I can go ahead and see that. And let's say um, do, 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 do. that notification should go away, I think, since I've read it. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, there you go, that went away. So now we don't have a notification, but what I'll do is send a quick email and you can see that notification come through. So I'm gonna go in here, hit send, and right away we're gonna have a new email pop through. And you know, as it comes through on my phone, it is going to come through on my playbook. And there it is. And we can go ahead, you saw it come in, minimize there even, and that's it. Now, I've had a couple builds now with, with the bridge on it, sort of partial versions, and I've noticed things have been changing uh, a little bit still. So I'm not exactly sure if this will be 100% the same usage as it, as it hits the market. But one thing that was interesting before was, um, on earlier builds, when I was in an app like Pictures and an email came through, I was getting a red glow in this corner and I could swipe down and jump right back into the email application. On this build, that doesn't seem to be the case, but I can tap into it from uh, up here. So, kind of interesting. Um, what else do I want to say about it right now? I think those are the key things. I mean, it's really an interesting uh, <laughs> way to use your device. It feels much more connected. I guess one key thing too that I've noticed on older builds or on the other build I had, when you go ahead and disconnect the bridge, you'll see what happens here is your bridge menu options stay. I'm just going to close some stuff. So your applications stay there, but you can see they're grayed out with little exclamation marks. Uh, now if I, you tap it, uh, it previously it was restarting the bridge instantly, but on this build it seems to be not doing that. Uh, so we'll see how that changes. Okay, no, see now it just became active by tapping it. So that's kind of cool, a little bit more leg than I had on my last build. But it's interesting because when your bridge is disconnected, you know, your icons are still there. So if you just pick up your tablet, right? You just pick it up, you're using your tablet, you want to, I don't know, browse some photos or something or take an email or check, or sorry, take a picture or something like that. And you decide, oh, you know, my Blackberry's in my pocket or it's on the table across the room. I just want to bridge. You know, you just tap the icon you leave Bluetooth on both devices and it's gonna restart that bridge connection pretty quickly. So it really adds, for this not having native apps out of, you know, native core integration out of the box, when you do have a BlackBerry and have the, have the playbook and you have the bridge connection made, 
It really adds another dimension to this device and makes it feel much more like a complete BlackBerry experience that you're sort of used to. So that's the bridge. Um, you know, I think it's going to get better and better. You can tell there's some implementation things that are not yet 100%. There's going to always be a little bit of more lag because you have this Bluetooth connection. But at the same time, it becomes pretty huge because, again, you're going to have this browser built in and you don't really need a tethering package. Um, and I think that they're going to do more and more with that with time where you really do not need an internet tethering package unless you're using a non-Blackberry smartphone with this because it will tether with other devices. But if you have the bridge, you don't use this option. You, you don't want to use this. You don't want to pay. You want to use the bridge and just take advantage of this guy doing all the heavy lifting and your carriers will never know. So that's how you're going to save money with the playbook and, um, and also get your native apps on it right away using the Blackberry bridge. That is it. I hope that gives you a bit of insight into how this all works. And uh, I know it's pretty interesting. I kind of like it. I'm going to see. A little more lag than there was last time I used this, though. So I think the next builds are going to be quicker. Now it's back. Bang. Doing some emailing. How do you like that BlackBerry bridge? I'm starting to like it a lot. I think it's, uh, it's just going to get better. And it definitely adds a very compelling aspect to the playbook if you already own a BlackBerry smartphone or you're looking to buy something fresh and you want to have that sort of no compromise mobile experience. I've actually been finding like because of the size of this, I take it with me everywhere. And uh, this kind of just starts like this goes stays in my coat pocket. This is in my uh, pants pocket. And now I'm just pulling this thing out all the time because it's like having a giant BlackBerry touchscreen. It's awesome. All right. That's it. <laughs> Bye. Blackberry.com